What's up guys, Moritz here from Section Store. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install this top navigation for your collection or catalog page on your Shopify store. It's going to be done in a few easy steps and I'll say we're going to have a look before we jump right into it. So you can click on here and you can easily direct for all the different collections you have in your Shopify store, even get back to all collections. But yeah, I think that's making navigation through you, all your collections a lot easier. And yeah, let's have a look at it. And I'm going to show you how you can install it and use it for yourself. So first of all, you want to be head on over, uh, heading on over to the Shopify App Store, where you want to find Section Store, Theme Sections. Um, after you did that, you add the app and then head on over to the Shopify admin area and underneath apps, you can find section store. I have it opened up already. And to get the specific navigation sections, we're gonna head on over to the section panel right here. Let it load up. Then we're gonna type in navigation. Actually a couple different ones, but we need this one for the sake of this tutorial. So yeah, I already own the section. But uh, in your case, you want to be downloading it. It's a one-time purchase of $9. There are no hidden subscription fees or anything. So once you bought it, you're going to own it forever. After you successfully downloaded it, you're going to head back to the home area of the Section Store app. And then scroll all the way down. Where you're going to find the navigation links. Add it to your theme, the Dawn Light theme. And after you've done that, you can simply open it up in the theme editor. And that's where we're going to head right now. So, and from the homepage, we have to select the collections, default collection page, where we can already see the section in action. But um, I'm going to just delete it for the sake of this video so you can see how it's actually implemented and used. So we're going to click on add section right here, type in SS, navigation, section store navigation links. There we have it. Perfect. And then we're going to put it all the way up here. And right here, we see that it's hidden on the desktop. We definitely don't want that. So yeah, there we have it. These are all sample products or sample collections in this case we're having right here. I'm just going to be showing you how you can do a few custom uh, changes to it. And then I'll let you know how you can actually implement those changes. So yeah, you can see we can change the text color of the whole thing. Let's make it a bit more gray. We can change the background color of the whole thing, of the buttons. We're going to stick to, uh, let's say, a little, little gray. That looks good, I think. And also change the current active button or the current active collection we're using right now. You're going to see it in a second, how it looks like. And we can also change the font size. So example, if you have like many collections or just three main ones, you can also make it bigger or smaller, however you prefer. And there's also the border radius we can change of the whole thing to make it look a little bit more sleek. All right, let's head back. And now I'm going to show you how you can actually add your collections to that whole thing. So you see a bunch of little products right here. We see a few of little cards. We're going to click on this one, for example. Right now it's linking to all collections, but we want to have it linked to a very certain collection. In this case, it's going to be the backpacks collection. So we have that one right here and we can change the title as well. Have it. I'm going to be back in a second because I will also implement the rest of my collections and then we're going to jump right in the live version and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Alrighty, just about to finish up. I'm going to put in my last collection right here. It's the summer collection. You can also put in products or whatever you prefer actually, but I think using it as a collection navigation makes the most sense. But at the end, it's up to you. There we're going to select a summer collection and we're going to have a look at that thing again. 
So what you can do, if you actually just want it on mobile, you can simply hide it on desktop. So you won't see it anymore in this. But if we go to mobile, we can see it here and it's actually scrollable. And here it would probably make sense to make the font a little bit smaller. So yeah, there you can see all of them. But yeah, we're gonna put it back to 17 and also make it visible on desktop, which we have right here. Save it up and in the next step, we're just gonna be having a look how it's gonna look in the in the live store. View it. Click on catalog to open up all the collections we're having. And here we have it already. Let's check if it's also functional. Click on backpacks. Here we can see the customizations we've done are actually working. You can click on the summer collection right here and head back to all of our products. And if we click on one of the collections again, we're gonna have it right here. Yeah, that's that guys. And I hope you found that useful. And if there are any questions, just always feel free to reach out to me or Daniel in the YouTube comment section. Thank you and peace out.